Okay, the last topic we're going to cover today is volume for rectangular prisms and cylinders. I'm going to give you homework on it, but you will not be tested on it next week. So homework to get it. Now, rectangular prism is like a fish tank. And volume is how much water can it hold. So, for example, this book. How much space does this book take up? Well, notice it has three dimensions. Ooh. <laughs> uh, it goes across this way. Well, I'm not showing this too well, but it goes across this way. It goes this way, and it goes up and down. It has three dimensions to it. Across, this way, and then thickness up and down. So to find the volume, you, have to, you actually have to multiply all three directions. So if I tell you it has a height of three, a length of six, and a width of 10, to find the volume, you would go three times six times 10, that's 18 times 10 is 100. And let's say it's inches. Now for volume, it'd be inches cubed. So it's all three, length, width, and height, or base, uh, height, and width. So all three just multiply together to find the volume. And it's cubic measure because you're dealing with all three dimensions, which we live in. Then a cylinder is like a battery or a waste paper basket. And you're asking how much can it fill? Well, you got to deal with the height. So uh, uh, that's up and down. Then, how much space does the top take up? Well, a cylinder has a circle for a top. And what's the area of a circle? Pi r squared. So the volume is just pi r squared times the height. So if I tell you that the radius is 4 and the height is 10, what is the volume of that? Well, it would be um, pi times the radius squared times the height. So 4 squared is 16. So 16 times 10 is 160. So it would be 160 pi or if you want to put 3.14 in per pi, 3.14 times 160. Use a calculator all this week. It'd be 502.4. And again, it's cubic. So I didn't put so it'd be units cubed. Technically, if there's nothing there, it'd be inches, it'd be inches cubed or feet, feet cubed. So, let's say you have a, a rectangular prism where the length is 4, the height is 6, and the width is 2. What would the volume be? Figure it out. Okay, so 4 times 6 is 24, times 2 would be 48 units cubed. And what if we have a cylinder and the cylinder I think I spelled that wrong. Cylinder. Oh, I did spell it wrong. Oh my goodness, I'm so embarrassed. Cylinder. Let's say it has a radius of 8 and a height of two. 
what would be volume? Well, it's pi r squared times height. So it's the area of the circle on top times how much you do you have up and down. So it'd be 8 squared times 2 times pi. So it'd be 64 times 2. So it'd be 128 pi. And again, use your calculator if you want to change that. Approximately. So here's going to be your homework. I'm going to give you time in class to do it. And then, of course, you can do it on uh, the day you have just work at home day. So anyways, I'll put this up on Schoology in just a little bit. Have a good day.